Peace, peace, family. This video right here is about bio photons, aka UPE, ultra weak photon emissions. Now, with that being said, when we're dealing with bio photons, first we want to break down what is a bio photon. Long story short, photons, right? Not bio photons, but photons. Excuse, excuse me. Photons are matter and antimatter combined, which is the purest form of light, and they are found at the very, very, very tip. Of a, of, a, of a sun ray or an electromagnetic wave which vibrates past 800 terahertz frequency into what we uh, call visible light which can be seen in, within the visible light spectrum of the sun and becomes a photon. Now bio photons are photons that have been digested bi bio uh, organically or bioenergetically by, by, the bi by the biological system of an organism and is being emitted back out of the body in order to cause a change within the molecular structure of atoms, a.k.a. the environment. So we're talking about being alternation or bioenergetic, as I broke down in my other video. You have to deal with biophotons. So biophotons would be the first medium or, or, or the first source in regards that in regards to your intention and, and the, by the means of which your intentions uh, use to change and shape the environment to the will of that being's intent. So that being said, a biophoton is a non-visible quantum particle. All right, that basically your intention is floating inside this particle, and once it comes in contact with the electromagnetic field of a person, place, or thing within the environment, it changes or alters that being into a specific frequency predicated upon the intent of the organism that that bio photon came from. Now, why is this important? You emit bio photons every day. You're giving off light. You're a light being. So that being said, we're talking about we're light beings. You have to understand this is actually not only a, 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 a literal fact. But we are emitting light every day that is literally putting out our intent into the atmosphere, changing the molecular structure of, the, of our environment to suit what we believe and think about ourselves. So this video right here is just me delving deeper into my bioenergetics video and my being alternation video and my holographic mind video. So we're talking about biophotons. Biophotons are the, are the exact blueprintative quantum uh, sources of what it is your mind uses to shape your reality. Now remember, biophotons are photons digested. Now why is this important? If the sun is literally intelligent, which quantum physics has proven that the sun not only speaks, it gives information. When you download information from the sun, okay, that information emits out of your body and shapes reality. Now why is this important? We are the medium of the creator. The universe expresses itself through us. So the will of the universe will be manifested through our will as long as we have the same intent that nature has. So with that being said, the consciousness of the creator is being expressed out of you. A.K.A. the photons being emitted out of the sun is becoming bio photons being emitted out of you. Because remember, melanin is condensed sunlight. So now why is it important? When we're dealing with, this, with, 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 the, uh, with the, the cycle of the sun, remember, you're emitting bio photons all day. But just like certain cells become dormant and non-dormant during the circadian rhythm, a.k.a. The, 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 the cycle of the sun, which activates certain biological and genealogical concepts of an organism, so does these photons. Photons are emitted at a, at, a, at a stronger pace or a higher degree in regards to the 24-hour cycle of the sun. So as the sun is going from 12 a.m. to 12 noon, yo, 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 the, the bio photons that your body is emitting is becoming stronger. So when the sun is at 12 noon or 12 p.m. or the zenith in the sky, your body is emitting bio photons at its highest frequency. And then as the sun begins to go down and it, uh, from, from 12 p.m. till about, let's say, 12 a.m., you know, you're coming to a medium frequency. So when you sleep, the bio photons you are, you are, you're emitting is on their way to their lowest point. And then so on and so on and so forth, back up and back down. So at 12 p.m. every day, your body is emitting its maximum amount of consciousness. So that being said, what you put in your head, Right? Before you go to sleep. How you feel about yourself, how you feel about the world, what you think, all of that is being stored into your consciousness. And it's being manifested as energy. I mean, and, and that energy is being manifested as bio photons. And as you wake up and you begin to, aka, begin your day, the beginning of your day, when it comes, as you come around at 12 p.m., you are emitting that consciousness. You are those, your subconscious is putting out them them quantum particles to shape your reality predicated upon how you feel and have felt the previous day in the previous times before that 12 p.m. interval. So that, in, that, that 12 p.m. interval within time and space. So that being said, you have to understand the science of what it means to be African. 
Melanin is can dip sunlight. You absorb the entire frequency of the of the solar system, of the universe, of the galaxy. Period. So that being said, as you digest this information, okay, you excrete this information. Period. So it's just like let's say sweating, right? Bio photons would be, you know, quantum sweat of photons. So you drink you some, some water, your body gets hydrated, and then you begin to sweat. You, you absorb you some photons, you digest that consciousness, and then your body begins to emit that frequency out into the goddamn atmosphere. And whatever those bio photons come in contact with, you begin to shape that intent. Period. You begin to shape the intent of that organism. Period. So that being said, you have to understand, family, that you, right now, in this day and time, have been chosen. And you have reincarnated for a chosen reason. Because the universe is elevating itself to a five-dimensional frequency. The sun is hotter than it's ever been. A.K.A. it's emitting more intelligence than it has ever been. In our recorded history. So that being said, the sun is at its most highest level of consciousness right now. That it has ever been in recorded history. Now why is it important? Because you are exposed and you have more information available to you in this day and time as an African just by downloading the cosmic frequency than any African that has come before you. And it is your duty to carry out the consciousness of the Creator. Period. Okay? The ancestors didn't have no goddamn internet. We got the fucking internet. We got more information available to us than they, than they could have had ever. You got more information than... 30 goddamn minutes on my YouTube channel than niggas that have been studying for 30, 40 goddamn years and we've already proven that. So with that being said, look at that and put that in terms of cosmology. Of the, of the, of, 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 of put that in, in, in astrological and in, in celestial terms. The sun is more conscious right now than it has ever been. And it's all for you to absorb and express. So you have a duty of keeping your vessel, your body healthy, eating healthy, so that you can download and have these electrical currents uh, circumnavigate your body at a higher velocity and a higher octave so that you can express these biophotons with a more pure intent. So now is the time for detaching from the matrix, the, uh, commencing the restoration of your African psychology, commencing the restoration of your genetic uh, superiority through your diet and through your physical ability, such as working out and, and things such as that, and allowing the bio photons of the creator, I mean allowing the photons of the creator to be expressed in their purest level of vibration from you as bio photons. So with that being said, everything in the universe that has a biological structure expresses the consciousness of the creator through what we call bio photons. So just like it's oxygen in the atmosphere and you breathe in oxygen, it's photons being emitted from every star and you are, you are absorbing that through your melanin. And expressing that as, as what is known as biophotons. So plants emit biophotons. Animals emit biophotons. Goddamn anything that has a biological structure emits biophotons. So understand, we're talking about, going back to my other video, being alternation. When you come in contact with anything that has life, it's altering you. But we want to understand what's altering you. Are you being altered by something that is of non-natural intent? Are you being altered by something that is other than the creation of the, of the cosmos? The, what's more intelligent than the sun? What's more divine than the sun? What's more all-knowing than the sun? So if the sun is feeding you some information and you haven't prepared yourself to be a vessel of that information, then you are literally going against the motherfucking creator. You are literally going against your God. So when we're talking about turning your back on God and not listening to what the, the uh, God said when we're dealing with the Bible, it tells you in the Bible, Psalms 84, 11, I believe, uh, what you gonna call it? Our, our, our Lord God is a sun and shield. So it tells you the Lord is a sun. Bible, the word holy in Greek means helios. Bible in Greek means biblios. Helios means sun. Biblios means book. Sun book. The book is about the goddamn sun. It's based off astrology. So we're talking about going against the will of the creator. You're talking about not preparing yourself to download the consciousness of the creator that is being given to you, your goofy ass, is being given to your goofy loving hip hop watching ass, okay, to express. And you're doing everything except for what nature is guiding you to do. You're listening to everything except for the solar frequencies that are, per that are permeating through your very being. So we talked about being light beings. Melanin is condensed sunlight. You are made of sunlight. Okay? Biophotons are digested light particles. Okay? You emit light. 
So you are a light being. Just like I did say in my video. Gas, liquid, solid. Water, goddamn moisture in the atmosphere, and ice is the same goddamn thing. It's just different vibrations of his own self, so it experiences his own self from different points of view. You, melanin, the sun, and light is the same goddamn thing. You're just different vibrations of your own particle self and your own melanated molecular self, and you're experiencing yourself from different points of view. So if melanin is condensed sunlight, and the sun is emitting photons that is being absorbed by your melanin, and you're emitting biophotons, which is, which is miniature quantum non-visible uh, octaves of consciousness, that has been digested by your biological self, aka your bioenergetic field, then you, you are an organ, are, are individualized organism, which is experiencing the downloaded intellectual frequencies of your cosmological self, in order to cause the the proper intellectual effects and variants on it within your environment in regards to the people, places, and things around you that your higher self wishes to wishes to have and wishes to experience. What the fuck part of that don't you understand? Why are you not preparing yourself for the shift when you are the direct cause of this shift whether you want to or not? So for people who haven't prepared themselves to download the frequency, this is why you motherfuckers is getting skin cancer. This is why you're getting sun cancer. When we're talking about the intent of the creator, the sun controls all consciousness. It, and I'm getting ready to do a, a, a fair while I university right after this and go in, so don't worry. But the point I'm going to make is the sun controls all consciousness. And the reason every 57 minutes one European or non-African dies from skin cancer is because they don't have the, they're, they're not natural organisms. So they don't have the melanin components to, di to, to digest the will and express the will of the creator. If the sun is emitting a certain level of intelligence through the medium of photons, we digest that and we express that as biophotons. All non-Africans were not created by the, by the, by the, Cosmos. Melanin is condensed sunlight. You don't have melanin, the cosmos don't know who the fuck you is. So that being said, everybody cannot download the, the, the creator, the, the conscious of the creator through what is known as ultra fast internal conversion and express that information on this field because they were not naturally put here on this field. So as African people, we were naturally put here on this field and we are doing the universe and the ancestors a, a disservice by not allowing ourselves to be the mediums of the will of the goddamn creator. In the will of our goddamn ancestors through the form of light. For we are light beings. So, let me give you a, a scale of how much of a disservice we are doing. By not thinking and eating properly and living properly and living righteously. If a fish decided to stop breathing underwater and drown. You would say, damn that fish stupid. Well that's how stupid you motherfuckers is. By literally not listening to the light. By literally not preparing yourself to become an ascended light being once again. So with that being said family. Understand that you are the medium of righteousness. You are the medium that the creator chose. In order to express its will. It's not a him or a her. Well technically if you want to go there anatomically it is a her. But we ain't going to go there right now. It, its will. We're going to say it's an it. So with that being said. You are the medium that was chosen by the creator. To express its will. And you're not doing your fucking job. So now. As it's getting hot. Go look it up. It's more carbon in the atmosphere than ever before. They're trying to say it's global warming. It's not global warming. The sun is heating this motherfucker up. And if you don't got a certain melanin content, that's your ass. So that being said, all you niggas eating these cancerous ass food and you putting these chemicals in you and you're doing drugs, you're making your melanin what is known as toxic or dormant. So as these photons hit your melanin, your melanin is literally not active. So it doesn't perform what is known as internal fast conversion. And you begin to get skin cancer. So all you black people that's getting skin cancer out there. Good motherfucker. Prepare yourself. Get right. Start eating correctly. And do what you got to do. Now I'm not making fun of nobody who got skin cancer. But I'm letting you know. Stop being willfully ignorant. Okay. We know cigarettes are bad. If you cannot smoke cigarettes and say. Oh my god I got lung cancer. Nigga you knew you was going to get that the first time you put it in your mouth. So if you're getting skin cancer and you won't stop eating these processed foods, you won't stop eating these meat, then good. You're getting what you asked for. So we're not in a time where we, where we have to have sympathy for stupidity. Okay, we have children to raise and we have a strong nation that we're trying to build. And you deal with strength breeds strength, weakness breeds weakness. Okay, if you deal with somebody strongly and you expect more for them, you build a stronger individual. If you keep giving them motherfucking excuses and you deal with them in a weak manner, you build a weaker individual. Our race is weak. Because we got all the fucking excuses in the world. And we don't got time for no more goddamn excuses. So that being said, if you keep wanting these fucking diseases you should never have as an African. Keep eating these fucking diets. 
and keep 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 having these psychological states that you shouldn't have as an African, and you're gonna keep emitting motherfucking frequencies that shape in your world right to your own destruction. So with that being said, do what you manifested and reincarnated yourself here to do, which is help bring this world into a higher level of frequency known as fifth dimensional vibration. And with that being said, I love y'all. Peace.